Major news in the golfing world today has an Oregon senator speaking out. Noah Chass has the details of the surprising merger between the PGA Tour and its rival Live Golf in tonight's sports report. The deal will combine the PGA Tour and Live Golf's commercial businesses and rights into a new, yet to be named, for profit company. According to a statement, the new agreement would end all pending litigation and, quote, unify the game of golf. The agreement also includes the DP World Tour, also known as the European PGA Tour. Live Golf is backed by the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund, an entity controlled by the Saudi Crown Prince. Many former PGA players who left the tour faced criticism for ignoring the Saudis' alleged human rights violations and signing lucrative deals with Live. Now, any player who wants to reapply for membership with the PGA Tour is able to do so following the 2023 season. In response to this announcement, Oregon Senator Ron Wyden said in the statement, Hypocrisy doesn't begin to cover this brazen, shameless cash grab. I'm going to dive into every nook and cranny of Saudi Arabia's deal with the PGA. As a start, U.S. officials need to consider whether a deal will give the Saudi regime improper control or access to U.S. real estate.